This is going to be the password to log into the admin account until we change it, so make sure that you keep this noted. What we might want to do first is come over here to credentials, users, and I like to make a secondary admin account in case anything ever happens to this one. So we're just going to come over here, click add. I'm going to make myself an account, make myself a password. And now over here, we can adjust the permissions as we need. So there's some extra options such as like you can set permissions for what directories they can access, stuff like that. What we want to do is come over here to auxiliary groups. And if we click on the little question mark, it's just going to say how we could add it to additional groups. So I'm just going to come over here and I want to be part of the built in admins. I believe there's another admin group in here as well. And you see, if you scroll it to the bottom, there's a true NAS admin as well. So I'll just give myself that as well. The built-in administrators will give us full access and it should be able to give us access to actually get into the share. So I'm just gonna click save. And before I get into really changing anything, I like to sign out and make sure my account works. And you can see now I can actually sign in and I have admin permissions. So you can see mine is a little bit different but I am a full admin over here. So at least we have two accounts in case anything ever happens. If you're running a machine with multiple drives, then you can most likely do a mirror or some sort of a raid. I only have one hard drive, so I'm gonna use a stripe.